Hi, I'm here with the director Burak Chem and his wife Nestle, and he is the director of the film Crimean, a Turkish film that's being screened in the main competition of the film festival. Kırımlı'nın genel olarak verdiği mesaj, vatanı uğruna savaşan bir askerin göstermiş olduğu çaba ve bu savaş ortamında beklenmedik bir şekilde karşılaştı aşkı anlatıyor. It's a story, it's a true novel story from Cengiz Darcı and uh, uh, Sadık is fighting for his homeland, uh, he is Crimean and uh, they, you can also see in this war uh, a poetic love, this is all about the movie. Um, Sadık is a real life character, right? And I heard you mention in your interview yesterday that he was actually a prisoner of war in England as well. Was it England? Yeah. Uh, aslında Sadık önce Kırımlı mm -hmm. uh, Ruslar adına savaşırken Almanlara esir düşüyor. Yeah. Uh, Almanlar adına Ruslara karşı savaşırken İkinci Dünya Savaşı'nın sonunda da bu sefer İngilizlere esir düşüyor. Uh, ve hayatının geri kalanını İngiltere'de yaşamak zorunda kalıyor. Well, Sadiq is Crimean. First, he is uh, fighting with Germans. After the end of Second World War, he is uh, going next to uh, British people. Uh, at the end of his life, he, he's ending his life uh, in England because he is going there as a prisoner and staying there. Um, what? element to the story did you think Maria brought, the, the love interest? I mean, um, how do you think that helped the film develop as opposed to just straight Sadik's autobiography? Yani şöyle bir insan düşünmek lazım. Kendi vatanı uğruna ve insanları uğruna savaşırken hiç beklemediği bir şekilde bir aşkla karşılaşıyor. Ve hepimizin de ihtiyacı olan aşkı bu savaş ortamında Sadık bulunca kaybetmek istemiyor ee, ve bu sefer hem vatan uğruna ve hem de aşkı uğruna savaşmaya başlıyor. Well, Maria, uh, first of all, she is uh, fighting for her homeland, and uh, at the war time, he is meeting Sadık, but uh, she doesn't want to lose her warland and uh, homeland, and also she doesn't want to lose Sadık. At the end, you will see uh, that they're falling in love and they're fighting with each uh, they're fighting against uh, each other ama lütfen filmin sonunu burada söylemeyelim sürpriz olsun okay we won't tell the end of the movie it will be a surprise okay um so what was the hardest scene for you to film because you know there's a lot of dark scenes um benim için en zoru ekstraların çokluğundan dolayı savaş sahneleriydi patlayıcıların ve savaş sahnelerinin olduğu kısımlar çok zordu. Bir diğer zorluğumuzsa filmde dört farklı lisan kullanıyoruz. O lisanların diyaleklerini doğru kullanmamız gerekiyordu. Bu kısımlarda biraz zorlandık. First it was cold because we shot it in winter time. Uh, secondly uh, there were four uh, different four different language because it was Turkish, Russian, Polish, and German. And the bombing, uh, the bombing scenes were really uh, difficult uh, for us to shoot. And cold, especially. And final thing to leave it on a happy note. Um, you went out in Manila yesterday. How did you enjoy it? I'm very happy to be here. And thank you very much for your invitation. Ee, ve şehrinizi çok sevdik, insanlarınızı çok sevdik, çok cana yakınsınız. Ee, kendimize de çok yakın bulduk sizi. Ee, tekrar çok teşekkürler bizi davet ettiğiniz için. Well, first of all, thanks for inviting us here because we are really enjoying. Uh, the thing is, it's the traffic is really similar to Turkey, <laughs> so we're used to it. It doesn't matter for us. Uh, people are so kind to each other, and they're so helpful and smiling all the time. Thanks again for inviting us. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. the festival.